Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and we're just going to go in with some foundation. I've got the Pearly CC Cream here on my hand and I'm just going to apply it with this brush and I just did a mask and my skin's in pretty good shape as far as hydration and firmness is concerned and so I'm just going to go in with this foundation and we're going I'm getting ready to leave the house here in a little bit and I just want to put on some makeup and we're not going for a real elaborate look. I'm going to, my hair is, I did a video the other day that required me to have a really wild hairdo and so I decided that I was going to add some hair chalk into it. Anyway. That was a pre-recorded video that came out on Tuesday and you probably saw my hair again on Mask Monday and and then again for this video as well so anyhow I'm maximizing the effects of the hair chalk <laughs> while I can but anyway it's uh it's fun I, my, I have two things of hair chalk one was blue and one was red and the red is kind of a, like a pinkish maroon kind of color pinkish purple and um, of course I didn't apply it probably professionally but I did cover up some grays let me do my ears my ears look kind of red okay so now I'm gonna do some concealer and I'm going to go in with this one from Maybelline. This is the Master Conceal by Face Studio in the shade 10 Fair. And I'm trying to use this up. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And it doesn't take much of this stuff. That right there, that little dot is enough for everything that I'm doing. And so anyway, I'm just going to take the, my finger and just tap it in. Hit these under eye circles in a couple of little places where I need the help. Sometimes you just got to have some help. And then I'm going to take my brush and just brush it in. I thought that it would be nice to just do a get ready with me I, my intention at the beginning of the year was to get away from so many unboxings and do more videos where I'm just getting ready and of course I do that a lot you know with collabs and everything but just to sit and do a get ready with me you know I haven't really had the chance to do many of these fantastic looks so that's that's why I've called this series you know fantastic looks for 2022 and I haven't really done that many of them but I you know I have good intentions let's just put it that way I'm trying to keep up with my brushes and not lose them let me use this sponge right here y'all and just go back over that Use this pointed in and get in some of these little tight little places. I don't want this to crease on me. All right, I'm going to set this really quick before it gets away from me so I'm gonna go in with this uh, setting powder here from Beauty Bakery it's called flower and I really like this so we're gonna grab a brush here let me use this one here from complex culture And I'm just going to mattify. It's really hot and humid here already in Savannah, Tennessee. 
And since we're going to be out and about today, I just want to mattify the skin. Keep the oils from attacking me. Okay, so I'm just hitting like the T-zone area and up underneath my eyes and right around my nose and my mouth. Especially the nose. And I thought for today, for today's video, y'all, that I would, um, I would go back into that ColourPop palette that I've been playing with here lately. The Malibu Barbie. So let me just pull it out. And, um, uh, we're going to try to do a simple look here today with this. So here's the palette. And so far I've done, I used this hot pink with this bright blue for one look. And then the last look that I did, I used uh, some of these oranges and this brown and that yellow. And I used this lighter pink here. And anyway, that turned out really pretty, I thought. So, but for today, I want to see what I can do that's going to be different from all of those looks. So, let me let me find a brush here. I've been using this one from Alamar Cosmetics with this palette. So, let me, let's see here. What am I going to do? Let me, let me mix this yellow and this blue together and see what happens. In fact, let me switch brushes for this. I think yellow and blue make green, so I'm just thinking that it would be kind of fun. to see what I can do like an emerald green kind of a lid nothing too crazy I like mixing colors. I think it's fun. All right, now I am going to go back to that brush, that Alamar brush. And I'm going to tap into this shade here called uh, Making Waves. And mix that with a little of that yellow and just go up above. So a lot of that yellow is going to come through in the mix here. I'm trying to use more yellows. So it's not my favorite color to work with, but I'm forcing myself to get out of my comfort zone. All right, let me find a different brush here. Let me go in with this little, I like this little brush right here. It works good for me. This is from e.l.f. and I'm gonna tap into this brown called Zuma Beach. 
and we're going to try to bring this together here with some outer V action in the crease. And that, that yellowish color is going to kind of peek out from underneath. Okay, now this side. I'm not really laboring a long time on this eye look today. I just wanted to uh, get ready and we're going to leave the house for the afternoon and have a little outing and I'm going to take Fanny Flamingo with me and we'll do a little vlog while we're out and about in the car and I'll try to insert a clip of that in this video where you can see what we did together with Fanny all right now I'm going to grab that brush that I used for the yellow and I'm just going to take what's left over on the brush and we're just going to blend up above and just kind of create that softness that I like and just go around. All right, now I'm going to grab a detail brush, this one from Complex Cultural Work, and I'm going to go back into the yellow and the blue and mix those on the brush and go underneath the lash line And this is kind of fun. And when you're mixing colors on your brush, it's best to pick up the lighter shade first and then dip over into the darker shade as far as how the shadows are going to be maintained in the palette goes. Okay, now I'm just going to go over what I did on the lid just a little bit better. I'm just trying to create that emerald green kind of a color. Okay, now for the <clears throat> All right, for the inner corner, I'm going to use this really light shade here. It's called Call Girl. Really pretty. And I'm going to use this flat brush. And we're just going to pop that in right there. And I'm not carrying that over into the other shades. I'm just staying right there in the corner. And this is so metallic. It's just a beautiful shade. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use that same shade and 
No, let me go over here to this one called Shine On. It's just, it's like a just a little bit of a brown kind of a color. It's a rosy kind of a brown. And I'm gonna go up above what I did and carry that up into the brow bone area. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Usually I do my brows before now. I don't know why I didn't do it today. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my brows and do mascara and lashes, liner, you know, all that stuff. And then I will come back with you guys and we will do a lip look together. And then, of course, somewhere in the video is going to be a clip of Fanny on her um, outing with us for today. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And you'll have to make sure and leave me a comment down below on how you, what you thought about our, our outing together, our adventure. All right, be right back, y'all. Hey, everybody, me and Fanny in the car. We're going on a ride. It's Sunday afternoon, and we're doing a Sunday afternoon drive. And our driver is the best driver in the whole wide world, none other than Brother Fantastic. Hey. Hey there. So anyway, Fanny is excited because we're going on an outing today. So we're in the car. We've got the air conditioner on and we're enjoying the ride. It is a nice day for a drive. It is beautiful outside. There are some clouds and it looks like it might try to rain a little bit here after a while, but for the most part it is a very nice day so we wanted to pop in and say hello fanny wanted to let y'all know she's doing good she's sleeping good she's eating good and sweet pea has uh decided to accept her and uh, they're not the best of friends of as of yet but they are uh definitely um not fighting so we are very happy about that aren't we fanny Yes, we are. We're very happy about that. So anyway, we just wanted to say hi. Doing good. Having fun. Traveling the earth today. Just on a local basis. So anyhow, Fanny wanted to pop in and say hello. Let y'all know how she's doing. Alright, see y'all later. Bye. Say bye, Fanny. She says bye, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. I put on my brows and I did some mascara and I did some bronzer and blush. And so now I'm going to work on some highlighter. This is a new highlighter from Revolution Pro. It's called the Lester Highlighter. And this is in the shade Rose Gold, which kind of intimidates me. When I did the swatch, I felt like it was going to be too dark. And so what I want to do today is um, just tap into it lightly with this highlighter brush here from Farrah and just put it right here on the tops of my cheeks and hopefully if I use a light hand it's not going to be too dark it's such a pretty highlighter and I just want to use it kind of like as a blush topper today where it's not going to be too dark for me So that's pretty. Let's try this side where y'all can see it better with the light. Can y'all see that? That glow? It's not... I mean, it's definitely there. It's, it's definitely a rose gold. It's not especially blinding, but it's definitely there. I, I know it can build up because I've... Anyway, I just want to blend it out. I just want a little bit, just something subtle, like a blush topper. So there you go. So it is going to work for me. I had a question in my mind when I hauled it. 
Let's try a little bit on my nose and see what happens here. Just a little bit. Because I do like a nose highlight. Okay. So if you use a light hand, it is subtle on fair skin. Um, and it does work. So for those of you that had a question in your mind about that, I wanted to demonstrate that and find out for myself. So anyway, I'm skipping the lashes today. I'm in a hurry, so I'm going to skip that part. But we are going to do a lip look. And I'm going to go in to the lip kit from the ColourPop Barbie collection uh, in the shade Dream House. There's the packaging on that. It's really cute. Anyway, it's the shade that's like, it's not the nude, but it's not that dark bright pink either. It's like a medium pink. It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to use that today and play up on the pink. And we're going to start with this lip liner. And I know my eye look has quite a bit of brown in it, but I'm wearing a pink top and there's pink in my hair and there aren't the shades in the eyeshadow are warm. And it just wouldn't be a Barbie look unless there was some pink in it. And I am going to be gone for several hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in. Fill in around the edges really, really good. And then we can apply the lipstick over that. This is such a creamy formula. It's really, really nice. Really comfortable, really long wearing. If you don't add a gloss or anything to it, the combination between the two this should stay on my lips until I eat again. So anyway, that is the look. I'm going to spray this down and, um, and I will check in when we're traveling with Fanny. I will check in the vlog style and add the clip. I'm going to put on a little perfume. I'm going to use this fruity almond that I got from Dossier. It's like, um, an imitation of the or inspired by the Carolina good girl and I'm gonna go in with the Tarte stay spray today I'm gonna shake it up that's good I love the smell of that and I'm gonna pop me on some earrings and take a couple of pictures and I'm out the door so anyway this is the look for today you guys um a little bit different for me i usually don't wear colors in this arrangement on my eyes but i wanted to mix the yellows the yellow with the you know other colors today to see what i could do you know with the blue you know and create green and then of course with um you know the brown to kind of warm it up a little bit more even you know to kind of give it like an orange kind of a vibe but anyway you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments a little bit out of the box for me but uh, the technique is still pretty much the same I did create a smoky eye and I think it brings out the blue in my eye color so but anyway again you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments <laughs> 
and if you haven't gone over to ColourPop yet to pick up this collection, it is really awesome. It's worth the money, and you're really going to like it. All right, that's it for me today. Me and Fanny and my husband were out the door. Sweet Pea's going to stay at home and hold the fort down, and we will check back in with you guys on uh, the vlog and say hello. All right, thanks for watching. God bless you today is my prayer. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.